So we are converting hectometer and we will be converting this to the base unit of meter. Okay, as you can see, meter here is a base unit because it only has one letter. Okay, no other letter that would stand for the different prefixes that we have here. So again, we'll be, we'll be converting 32.5 hectometer to meter. So from hectometer here, we will be traveling until we go to the base unit that we have, which stands for meter. So that's one and two movements. Welcome back to Gurung Pinoy. If this is your first time to visit our channel, please make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell button so that you'll be notified of our next videos. Now this video is going to show you easy metric conversion. The Dimetric system is actually very easy to manipulate with because it uses the powers of 10. Okay, now many people would find it quite difficult to perform metric conversions, but it's actually very easy. A lot of times these types of items would come out in the licensure exam for teachers, also even in the civil service examinations. Okay, now in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a mnemonic, uh, which is called a King Henry mnemonic, for you to easily just maneuver between the different metric units that we have. So the mnemonics that we're going to use will be King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. Again, it's King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. Now, as you can see, the first letters of our words here, I've colored them red, okay? Because these are actually going to be standing for the different metric prefixes that we have. Okay, so... The king there actually stands for a kilo, Henry is hecto, died is for deca, then you have B, B for base, D in drinking would mean desi, seek in chocolate would, would mean senti, then you have M in milk, which means milli. Okay, so King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk actually stands for kilo, hecto, deca, the base units, deci, centi, and milli. Now, as you can see, the first three letters here are all starting with capital letters. Uh, we have the base, and the last three letters are starting with just small letters. Or the last three words just start with small letters. The big letters that we have here actually stand for the prefixes that are bigger than our base units. Those that start in small letters are actually those units or those prefixes that are smaller than our base units. Now, if you'll be asking what these base units are, we have the following base units. Meter, which is used for length. Then gram for mass. We also have liter for volume. Okay, So you can use the different prefixes here for the different base units that we have. So you can say kilometer or km. HM or hectometer, you can say decameter, that's capital letter D and small letter M. You have decimeter, okay, so don't confuse yourself with deca and deci. Deca uses a capital letter while deci uses a small letter. So decimeter would be small letter D and small letter M. Centimeter would be small letter C and small letter M. And millimeter would be two small letter M's. Or you can say kilogram if you're trying to measure the mass, hectogram, decagram, and so on. For the liters, you can say kiloliters, hectoliters, decaliters, then your base unit would be liter, deciliter, centiliter, and milliliter. Okay, so these are the different base units that we have. I've also added here the one for time, which is second. So you can also say kilosecond, hectosecond, decasecond, and so on. Although use the use of seconds and the use of these prefixes together with second is not really that common. Okay, now I am going to show you the technique on how you can convert the different metric units that we have very easily. 
Okay? You don't need to solve it. You don't need to use your pen and paper for your solving and your computation or your scratch paper. You can easily just use your King Henry slider. Okay, now we go to our first example. Now say your example here is 32.5 hectometer. Okay, so that's HM, hecto, base unit would be meter. Okay, so that's 32.5 hectometer, and you'd want to convert this to meter. Okay, now again, you can just easily use the slider that we have here, the mnemonics that we have here. So we are converting hectometer, and we will be converting this to the base unit of meter. Okay, as you can see, meter here is a base unit because it only has one letter. Okay, no other letter that would stand for the different prefixes that we have here. So again, we'll be, we'll be converting 32.5 hectometer to meter. So from hectometer here, we will be traveling until we go to the base unit that we have, which stands for meter. So that's one and two movements to your right. Okay, so again, that's hecto to base unit of meter. So one, two movements to your right. So basically what you do here is you copy the given quantity that you have, okay, or the number that you have there. So that's 32.5, and you move the decimal point the same way that you moved here in your sliders. As you can see again in our slider, we move two times to our right. So we just move the decimal point here two times to the right. Okay, so that means there's one space here, and for that space, we just apply it with zero. Okay, so as you can see, the correct answer there would be 3,250 meters. Okay, so that means 32.5 hectometers, when you convert this to meters, would just be 3,250 meters. Okay, so again, we simply move the decimal point the same way we move the slider that we have there on top. Okay, so that should be the correct answer. Correct answer would be 3,250 meters. All right, now for you to understand this better, let's go to the next example that we have. Now, second example that we have here, we have 589.3 centigram. Okay, that's centigram right here. And we are going to get, convert this to our base unit of gram. So again, if you see that there is only one letter, that means that's a base unit. Okay, no other prefix, no other letter that stands for your prefix. So that means it is our base unit. So again, your quantity is 589.3 centigrams here. And we are going to convert it to our base unit of gram. So from centi, we will be moving to the base unit okay so we count that's one two movements to our left okay so again from centi that's one two movements to the left so what we do is we simply copy the number that we're given here okay so 589.3 centigram and we move the decimal point the same way that we moved in our slider here. So one, two movements to the left. So that's one and two. So that means your decimal point should be here. And your unit, of course, would be the new unit that we have. So that's gram. So the correct answer would be 5893 grams okay so that's the correct answer for this conversion that we have here all right now we go to the next example okay the next example that we have here is 28.3 decameter so again the big letter for d here the capital letter d here is deca it's not deci which uses a small letter d but it is deca, so that's 28.3 decameter to millimeter, okay? So as you can see, we have no base unit in this example. Both of our units are non-base units since we have two letters in both of our units. So that's from deca, 
and we are moving all the way to the last one here, which is millimeter. Okay, so we count. That's one, two, three, four movements to the or to your right. Okay, so again we just copy this. That's twenty eight point three, and we move the decimal point. How many times? That's one, two, three, four times to the right. So we count one, two, three, four. So as you can see, we have three spaces here, which we will be supplying with zeros. Okay, so and then you have the new unit, which is millimeter. Okay, so the correct answer here would be 283,000 millimeters okay so 28.3 decameter is equal to 283,000 millimeters that's the correct answer in this case now I think this would be the last example that we have that's 4,765 centimeters to kilometers 4,765 centimeters this one centi okay so that's centimeters we are going to convert this to kilometers. So as you can see again, in this example, we have no base unit. Okay, so kilo is here. So now we move to our left once, twice, thrice, four times, and that's the fifth time. Okay, so five movements to our left. Now again, we copy the given number that we have here. So that's 4,000. 765 now as you can see our given number is a whole number okay whenever you have a whole number you can't see any of the decimal point and as you know the decimal point should be after the last digit that we have okay so the decimal point should be there so again we move once twice three times four times five times to our left so that's one two three four and five okay don't forget your decimal point and since you have your space there supply it with a zero okay so the correct answer there would be 0 0.04765 kilometers okay so that means 4765 centimeters when converted to kilometers would be equal to just 0 0.04 seven six five kilometers so as you can see mga kaguro it is very easy to convert between your metric units you don't need your scratch paper you don't need your calculator you simply memorize or remember your mnemonic here okay make sure that you know that die dear capital letter d is for deca drinking small letter d is for desi okay so make sure that you know how to manipulate the slider that we have here all right so that's it for now again this is gurung pinoy don't forget to subscribe like our video and hit the bell button and i am leaving you with this quote maliit man na butil ng mga kaalaman ang dulo nito ay malaking kaginhawaan maraming salamat hanggang sa susunod nating video mga kaguro